Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to review an application that allows you to bring almost all the functionalities from your notification panel to your sidebar and you'll be able to even customize it with some media control functionality. Let's check it out. Okay guys, first thing you want to do is download and install the actual app straight from the Google Play Store. Look for Sidebar Launcher and it's by Bode Browser Design. You want to download it, install it, turn it on. By default, when you first install it, it's going to be activated on the left side, the top left side to be specific. I've already switched that to the right side, so that's usually how I activate it. I just go from the right side, swipe to the left, and then you're greeted with the system. Now, this is the free version that we're reviewing. That's why we have these three tabs at the bottom that say Pro. Uh, those are just basically options you're able to upgrade to. You can upgrade by either one at a time or by package. Uh, the developer will give you information once you click on one of these guys and go to the Play Store. The main thing you want to keep in mind is that it's basically kind of a sectioned off almost to look kind of like your notification panel when you have different things running. And the beauty of this is even though when you open it, it takes most of your screen is it has all, all of those notifications in there with the exception of new notifications that are not part of this. But the main thing is all your toggles are here. You're able to swipe through. You have the ability of adding your favorite applications. You're able to add, you know, favorite shortcuts or information. Like an example would be I'll be able to raise my volume and get it here. Uh, I'm able to add more applications. I'm able to go home, menu, add. Um, I'm able to, you know, say lock the screen, different options. There are some of these options that are root privilege only. So if your device is not rooted, you wouldn't be able to do this. This is my, uh, my HTC One and it's not rooted. So not all these functionalities will work. The other thing we have here is um, this is one of, the, one of these tabs that you're able to add to your text messages. So it, it gives you the ability to read your text messages without having to jump into your text messaging app. And it works from almost anywhere on the device when you're going between pages. The bottom part is where you get some of these customizations. The rating the application and the uh, little shopping cart is where you'll be able to upgrade to the pro version. The settings isn't that really complicated. It's pretty simple. You see the ad here. This is one of the monetization options for the developer. Uh, it tells you where do you want the, you know, the sidebar, right or left. I, again, I moved it to the right. Enabling it, auto launching it, checking for update. That's basic about, you know, for the developer and then the uninstall. There is a little bit of a tricky process to uninstall when you're taking this because it requires admin access. Please follow the instructions on the Google Play Store to be able to remove this. Last but not least is the editing option. And this is where we get to edit the positions of some of these tabs. And by doing so, you just go in, you click the little three dots, it gives you the option of either removing the tab or moving it. And then you can just move it and then it's live move. And then the other thing is you're able to organize things and then add more tabs at the bottom. Uh, the main thing you want to keep in mind is in this tab mode, anytime you click it, it just opens up the option. You don't actually have to click these things. We go down, we say we want to add. Uh, you get the access to all of the different options that you have and the ones that are pay will tell you right away. So shortcut is right there. Um, I think, where is it? Music control is one of the nice ones I saw and I saw a demo of this. It works pretty well. You're able to set your music player and it'll work well, but it is a buy option. Uh, recent messages, we already have this. The power widget is also another option. It's a buy option. You're able to see how much memory you have, you know, clear the recent applications. Functions, we already have that added. Favorite apps, you know, uh, quick settings also, of course, added. Time and date is what we have at the top. So very nice, very, very simple. And the reason why I wanted to show this to you guys today is um, it's different than a regular, just a sidebar switching application because this just really kind of replaces that bringing down your notification panel and having to switch to your tabs, having to do different things, all of those different options that you're looking at, this kind of replaces them and gives you that access right within one finger and one swipe, be it a Note 3 or an, you know HTC One. It works very well. And then you just hit tab out back and then you're able to go back in here and again th these are options available for the pro version you can upgrade to these or you can just basically stick with the light version and still works very well hope you guys like this the basic setup and installation is, as you saw was pretty quick you just download it and install it and it's not that hard to actually set up really it comes pre-configured with some uh, preset widgets and or tabs as i like to call them and then when you can go in there and customize them as i showed you guys overall the functionality right out the box is pretty good um, I like it to be on the right side again as opposed to the left by default uh, and I like the ability to maybe in the future some updates you'll be able to kind of customize the sensitivity va uh, factor on the right side. Right now you can customize how big the area is but you can't really customize the sensitivity. Um, but just kind of to sum it up on a pro and con kind of thing, on a pro side it has almost all the functionalities of your notification panel with the exception of new notifications coming up in the right side. 
Um, I like the ability to be able to check through my text messages, um, the ability to be able to basically have my quick toggles, my volume up, volume down, all these functionalities that I normally would be relying on either pushing buttons on the left side and or, you know, bringing down the notification panel to be able to switch a toggle for Wi-Fi or so on. Uh, Yes, there is other option, of course, on the market, but I like the fact that it keeps them all together. And it does have the ability to have to launch applications, you know, switching to uh, multitask mode and all of those. It's just kind of a big uh, all-in-one box that kind of gives you everything. Now, the pro version of this has some extra features that I wasn't able to review for you guys today, but you could see in the tabs that you have the ability to have a media control functionality built into this. So you can swipe away in the next, you know, next song, next player. And again, no different than if the player had a widget that fell in within your notification panel. But again, it's all combined in one area and it looks very nice aesthetically. Uh, it does take most of your screen when you turn it on because it does require a lot of functionalities to be able to do that. So, you know, the different tabs. And as far as the con side, like I said, I would wish to see maybe some more integration, one more widgets, maybe email options. Uh, other options as far as basically being able to have maybe Google integration is uh, not Google, but you know, Gmail necessarily hang out since they're able to include some of the functionalities in there. I would like to see more or maybe even a section for new notifications that normally would kind of come in the uh, notification panel. But other than that, I, I think it's really good. It's something that you guys should check out. If you, if you've looked at other applications that we reviewed here at XDA, we've done a lot of app switching up uh, applications. This really took my attention because of the fact that it's kind of a, a bigger package situation with more functionalities, uh, more system level functionalities built into the sidebar in a very nice, uh, very simple UI that is just right in front of you. And you can add more things to it as you guys can see. You know, we swipe away and then you have more, you know, different rows coming up. Uh, like and subscribe to this channel. Like and subscribe to my channel as usual. And hope you guys like this. And uh, I'll see you guys next Tuesday.